Hanukkah begins Sunday. Tonight we've learned new security measures including panic buttons are in place at a Barhaven synagogue. It comes following last month's deadly shooting in Pittsburgh and a rising number of hate crimes targeting the Jewish community. CTV's Katie Griffin joins us live with more on this. Katie. Well, Patricia and Graham, we weren't able to see the panic buttons at the Ottawa Tourist Centre for security reasons. They do have a direct line to 911 and are installed at other synagogues. Now, there's no increased threat, but the rabbi says they're not taking any chances. At the Ottawa Tourist Centre. Yes, coming in. Thank you. A new reality. We did install panic buttons in strategic places throughout the building. A code is now also needed to get in. We have to be vigilant and uh, we have to make sure that uh, our members are protected. We want to take our precautionary measures, although there is no threat and there's no reason to, to be alarmed. This comes on the heels of new numbers showing in Ontario last year, hate crimes against the Jewish community increased by 41%. Security measures, some you see and some you don't, are also in place at other synagogues and religious centers. At-risk communities like the Jewish community uh, should be able to apply for training, for example, through the security infrastructure program because we know that training saves lives. We increasingly lock our doors as a religious institution on, 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 on days of, uh, of religious ceremonies. And that's unique. We didn't always do that. Alex Wilner, a professor at Carleton, works with the Jewish community on security measures. It includes everything from better lighting outside on the street, signage, you're on camera, lots of cameras around, 360s, um, screens in the office so we can watch who's coming in and out. One candle will be lit on the first night of Hanukkah this Sunday. Rabbi Bloom says it's a time to reflect. When you're in a dark room, one small candle could dispel the darkness. Every small act pushes the darkness away and will turn the world into a better place to live in. Experts say it would be counterproductive to just close off access to synagogues or churches, and what's needed is finding a balance between having an open space and protecting those who use it. Graham. All right, CTV's Katie Griffin reporting live for us. Thanks.